Hey everybody, it's been a long time I know and we haven't put out very like any videos in the past couple weeks or more. I don't remember. But we've been really busy. Last week we took a vacation and we went to was it last week? No, it was a week before last, right before Memorial Day. We we took a vacation to North Carolina to find some land out there. Cause my dad lives out there and so that's where we went to to go and find some property so we could start our homestead farm, whatever. But we were gone for like a week and everything out in our garden exploded. I mean like everything. Take a look at this. So as you can see, these are the tomatoes that we planted out here. They were little itty bitty things. Now they're almost as tall as this uh, fence right next to it. A couple of the um, bell peppers fell off. One of them had been eaten by bugs. I've come out and checked all the plants for bugs and gotten rid of a bunch of them. The fig leaf is growing up really nice. The, uh, what is that? That's the grapevine. The grapevine's super happy. It's clinging to this like for dear life. It's sprouting out new leaves. It looks beautiful. I'm going to come around the corner here. Look at that corn! So Lori replanted some other corn and planted them really close together which I wasn't happy about but then when we went out to North Carolina we saw that my dad had corn that was all right next to each other so I was like okay we'll see how it goes and as you can see it did rather well and it, when it rained one night a lot of the corn washed out side of the perimeter that we had them in so now I've got four stalks growing outside of where I planted the corn originally now as you can see we've got the um, green beans over here we've also got some right down here and the green beans are doing really really well as you can see right down here we've got some green beans growing looking good there's more on the inside they're kind of hard to see right now but they are doing really well also the cucumbers this is what I really wanted to show you guys because we picked two cucumbers when we got home because one of them Here's a cucumber that's that's still growing right here. We've got bees all over here for some reason. I have no idea why, but there's bees over here. And you can see there's the big cucumber right there. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. It's massive. The We've got another one down there somewhere, over there. And our watermelon plant is doing great as well. Oh, might be kind of hard to see but we've got one growing back here that's the only one I can see so far tomatoes are doing great and the peas that Lori planted are starting to bloom and there's looking really good the onion oh amazing amazing so just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how everything's going sorry about the shoddy camera work or we were using our phones before to record the videos but they kept running out of memory which well I, I don't I don't blame them we put a lot of stuff on our phones so it's kind of hard but so we're using a little tablet now I'm gonna try to figure out something else maybe get a small camera or something so we can start doing this um, I recently started doing some I told Lori told you that we I was gonna start showing you some of the stuff that I build I had a neighbor of mine ask me for drawers that fit underneath his washer and dryer because he wants to put all of his stuff from up to down because, well, he doesn't like it. He wants it underneath the washer, the front load washer and dryer, so he can build them up a little bit higher. That way he doesn't have to bend all the way down to throw stuff in. All he has to do is just bend down a little bit and there you go. So here's a little... Here's the one of the drawers. I'm not I haven't stained it yet, but here's the drawer. So just a nice little little project we were working on. I put some soft clothes on it so that it doesn't bang closed all the time. And then they wanted it stained, so I'm working on one of them. Right now I'm staining it before I put it all the way together because I have to take this one apart to stain it and then put the slide the glides back on. So here's the base without the top, and you can see right back there, that is the drawer with no glides on it. So that will sit inside of this one, and you'll have your drawer. So I just gotta finish staining them, and then put the hardware on, and then 
I'll uh, try to give you guys an update on how that goes. So, thanks for watching.